So we're taking a look at problem number six on the target round of 2023 Math Counts Chapter Competition. In this problem, suppose that four letters are chosen at random without replacement from the phrase, okay, uh, what is the probability that the four letters chosen will be arranged to spell amour? So lovely. Heart, heart, heart. Okay. Express your answer as a common fraction. So, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to figure out what are the odds that we will get a more the first time. Now, I realize that this problem, I realize that this problem says that we can rearrange the uh, letters to get a more. So, in the actual problem, does it matter if the A comes first? No. no. But just, uh, just to help out, uh, we are going to assume the A has to come first, the M second, the O third, and the R last. I'm going to find out what is the probability of getting a more the first time. What, what do you think the odds of finding love the first time are? One. Not very good, but let's try. All right, so so we have four letters. We have four letters. What's the first letter that I need to get? A. Okay, how many A's are there in the uh, expression that I've been five. given? Um, five. five. Five, okay. And how many total letters are there? Fifteen. Fifteen. Now, I know that is a one-third chance of getting an A, so right now I'm going to uh, write down here, I'm going to simplify that to one-third. So then the next letter that has to come up is an M. What are the odds of getting an M? Hold on a second. Why is it 14, not 15? Because you already had to take out one. Uh, Nate, I can't hear you because other people are speaking. Say it again. So you already have to take out one letter, and if you manage to get the 5 and 15 chance that you get an A, then there's only 14 letters left. Okay. So there's a 3 and 14 chance of getting the M. What are the odds of getting an O? 2 13. All right. What are the odds of getting the R last? Which is one four. All right. So to find probability of getting an A and an M and an O and an R, I multiply the probability of each individual thing together. So we have one third times three fourteenths times two thirteenths times one fourth. Now I don't want to grab my calculator quite yet. I want to see if I can reduce things because that makes life easier. So I'm looking at this and I can't help but notice I have a three in the denominator, a three in the numerator, <clears throat> and multiplication those will cancel out. I also notice that I have a 2 and a 4. Well, 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 4 twice. Okay, so, so that reduces to 1 half. And so that means the chances of me randomly choosing love the first time, well, that's 1 out of uh, some number. Well, you know what? The nice thing is in the target round, we're allowed to use a calculator. So I'm going to pull up my, oh, there, I already have it. Look at that. It's almost like we're doing it before. So we get 364. So I just multiplied 14 times 26. Why did I multiply 14 times 26? Two times 13. All right. Okay, good. Now, the, so the chances of finding love the first time, they're pretty bad. One out of 396. Oh, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. Uh, about once a year. Well, lucky day. But it is possible that 
I get A, M, O, R, just not in that order. And then I can rearrange it to, to make love. That didn't come out right. I can rearrange it to find love. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So, all right. So let's say I have all the letters that I need. How many, so I have four letters. I have an A, an M, an O, and an R. And so how many different letters can be picked for the first letter, for the first space? Four. 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 How many for the second? Four. How many for the third? Two. So four times three times two times one is? Uh, 24. 24. So that means that I have a one in 364 chance of getting whatever combination of an A, M, O, and R. But I can scramble that 24 different ways. So there are 24 different ways that I could have <coughs> that one in 364 chance happen. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna multiply 1 64th by 24. And before I do that, I kinda wanna reduce, right? So uh, what goes into both of these terms? Tw uh, I don't think 24 goes into it. I have a calculator so I can check. Divided by 24. Four works. Uh, what, what, about, what about eight? Does eight work? No, eight does not work. I think eight does work. So let's double check. No, it doesn't. It no, it doesn't. Work. Work. It doesn't work. Oh, man. Okay, if you didn't make clap once. Thank you. All right. So uh, we said four works. Okay. So we divide this by four. So divide uh, or reduce everything by four. And so we get, let's get 91. All right. So uh, we end up with, oh, shoot. We, if we divide that by four, we get six. So we get 6 over 91. Now, if we've done everything right, we should have the right answer. The, the odds are not good, no. 6 out of 91. Um, all right, Danny, he's taking a test. All right, so there you have it.